Over. Karachi in the field. Lahore batting first. You called it early, Baz. Yeah, very early. Love a super over, don't we? Especially for you, Flem. Oh, the drama. It is on a knife edge throughout this match. And the atmosphere inside this stadium, it's not full, but they're making the most raucous noise. And all these Great reactions shot. we saw from Alan Wilkins while we were commentating. All these reactions combined. Well, I think we can work out who'll be bowling the ball. It will be Mohamed Amir. Sahal Akhtar, that 15 off 8 at the end, that was the one that got Lahore to this super over. It was good power hitting. Army board brilliantly, 1 for 28, Imad got 1 for 27, Osman Chinwari with that dramatic final over, 2 for 37. Oh dear, Karachi Kings 163 for 5, they were put into bat by Brenda McCullum, the Kalundas 163 for 8, Salman a, a delightful 50, Irfan Jr, Shinwari, two wickets piece match will be decided by a super over. And the one thing Lahore had to them, they are very experienced super over team. They have experienced one previously. <laughs> in PSL 3. Your sarcasm will get you thrown off an aircraft. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. they've got experience. <laughs> you, yeah. Who writes your scripts? <laughs> Not Mickey Slater. Right, th th let's restore calm because Brenda McCullum has walked out there with Fakhar Zaman. And there's, I think they're still talking. They're still debating it, they're aren't they? are still debating are not they? But it's gone. Parker Zaman looks like he's got a brand new bat for this Super Over. That looks an absolutely brand new, pristine piece of wood. And doesn't that's the that shot he wants to play? Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, and he's the right man here. Just six balls, and it'll be interesting what Ahmed serves up because he's been quite exceptional in the final two overs that he bowled in the in the game. Baz McCullum still talking, no, still they're ready debating. To go now. They're ready to go. So, Flem, you've played a lot of cricket. You've commentated on a lot of cricket. Have you ever seen no. anything like this? No. This has just been absolute chaos. Hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> different rule. That's it. Like the new format with super overs. They yeah. bring in different scenarios that have never happened before. Right. There we go. Here we go. Super over to decide this. And of course, if Karachi win it, they go top of the HBL PSL. Mohamed Amir, six balls. Fakhar Zaman latches onto one. McCullum wants a second. He's going back for two. And I think he might be short there. Karachi is celebrating. Yeah, McCullum was very, very quick out of the blocks. He wanted two straight away. Bakar on the back foot after playing that full shot. So he didn't get that quickness straight away. That looks like Great oh, yeah, shot. a wicket. Not the start Lohar Kalandas were after. Unlucky fucker there, it was a great dive, missed out by five centimetres. He certainly did, and let's just tell you that fucker Zaman's gone. It's one for one in the Super Over. Third umpire is coming out, not a new ball again. Now, if the Super Over is also tied, then Most it's decided on boundaries and Karachi would win because they've got 20 and Lahore 17. Okay. Right, so if the super over is tied, then Karachi will win this match because it's the number of boundaries. 
and just to keep it going, a, a new ball is asked <laughs> well, for. Plus, it's out of shape. But actually, I reckon that last ball was just totally confused <laughs> by why it was still getting bowled. Flam, I should add that it's the number of boundaries now as it stands, but it also has to count the number of boundaries in the Super Over. Oh, that's interesting, man. So, yeah. if Kalunda's hit now five fours or four fours and a six, they all count. So then they would be ahead of Karachi. But I reckon if they hit four, four and six, they'll win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, you're always one step ahead, Bazir Khan. <laughs> just like your father, Majid. I told you it was a Super Over. <laughs> Flem wanted a Super Over. We all wanted a Super Over. We got it. <laughs> and meanwhile, in this pandemonium, Anton Devsic, the New <laughs> Zealander, has joined Brendan Callum, Brendan McCullum, the other New Zealander, and the captain. So Devsic is on strike. It's one for one. Mohamed Amir. It's gone leg side. It's a wide. Umpire says Alim Dar. That's a wide. Devsic is a very, very dangerous batsman too. What was his strike rate in the 160s? Very good bottom yep. hand player. He's got five balls here. Don't want to be bowling a wide in the super over, do you? Not so much. But he could just get a wicket here and finish the over. Oh, he's gone leg side again. He's spearing the ball into the pads of Devsic. It's well bowled. It's Quite on your quick, leg isn't he? He's cramping him 137 kilometers an hour. And he's cramping him. He can't get under that type of delivery. Well, they're looking at the, this ball as well. They have a short career, this ball. <laughs> Two balls. At it. it's gone isn't it it's just gone late but <laughs> I mean just telling them all to calm down give me the ball I'll do the rest Baza last over specialist tell you what square legs coming in that, that is I know he got caught there in the real game but if he can get some elevation could be the area he's targeting big area between mid wicket and fine leg on the fence four balls to go three for one Lahore Amir oh he went for the ramp and Mohamed Amir oh second guessed him didn't he oh it's a wide he's called wide oh it's everything's happening got leg buys he's got wide Amir went for the little cutter but just Went too far down the offside while McCullum was shaking up for the ramp. I see there was a lot of non-traditional cricket there that we saw. <laughs> starting with the batsman, ending with the bowler. It's a good ball, but it's a good shot as well. It's only one. It's five for one three balls to go still not considered a boundary Amir's bowling well well if you take out the wides he's bowled really well he's getting the ball to tail as well the use an old ball for the super over so that's just working in Amir's favor I think Afridi feels they've done pretty well now five for one just three balls to go Devsic now he's looking to that leg side because he's expecting Amir to just dart in that leg stump big gap between mid wicket and fine leg he's caught hold of it two men back they can't go for a second that would be suicide can't do that yeah. that would be game over yeah you can you if you lose you can lose one wicket you lose a second the overs finished so I reckon if he doesn't go for a boundary these last couple of balls, Karachi will be super happy. Definitely. Only the second over this is, of course, in PSL history. The first one we had in Sharjah, but uh, a week ago, nine days ago, and 
and Lahore involved in Andre both. Andre Russell, six yeah, off the last ball. Finished it for Islamabad. He's gone big. McCullough. Got he's got one bounce four. He's got the boundary. That's such an important boundary, isn't it? That ability to just open up the face and still get enough power to muscle it over Midoff's head. And that's a fabulous shot. It's a low full toss at best as he reaches to it and just keeps his position of just opening himself up and hitting it over Midoff. That was the only go-to shot and he nailed it perfectly. Really good shot. What an important boundary. So it's 10 now. Last yep. ball of the Super Over. Puneri loves 16. Right, so now he wants square leg out, so threatening that he might bowl a short ball. Third man comes up. Is it a bouncer? What's Brennan McCullum thinking? Does he, is he thinking well, ramp? There's guess so what happens if it's a bouncer? Here we go, last ball. It is. He's caught it. He's caught hold of it, but not well enough. They're going to go back for the second. He's going to struggle here. McCullum has run out. But they get the one. And Lahore Kalunders finish their super over. 11 for 2. And Karachi will need 12 from 6 balls to win this super over and this game. Yeah, terrific throw, but McCullum was never going to make it. Once that throw came in, he was always looking for two. But an important boundary on the fifth ball from McCullum, just giving Karachi something to think about. Oh, well, they're in the game with 11 runs. McCullum, he was asking for a misfield, really, to get back and have two. And who's going to bowl this last over? That's the big call. I said that 12 would win it, but 11 would win it for Karachi because they've got more boundaries. boundaries. So let's just say that, that 11 for the boys in blue would do it. Who's going to bowl this super over for Lahore? Well, they're all warming be? up. Yeah. Well, it was a pretty decent over by Amir. It is length. That one, first one, suicidal, second run, and just put a little bit of pressure back on Lahore. But he's got, apart from the wide, a couple of them, he almost bowled the perfect over if it wasn't for Baz McCullum. <coughs> hitting that, we'll see it here, hitting that terrific shot. Otherwise, it was really, really good from Amin. Just one boundary. And that coming from Brendan McCullum. So 11 was the Kalunda score. And although 12 will win it, 11 will win it as well because of the number of boundaries in the uh, 20 over game. When did that finish? <laughs> and 20. There were 20 boundaries by Karachi and now Lahore have got 18. With that because they had 17 and they had Brendan McCullum's. And would Karachi Kings know that? Oh, I would think so. Super Over. The only two Super Overs we've ever no, had they're, in the HBL. They're experienced. They've been there and done that. <laughs> so. Right. Baz, what feel... Because he has been bowling sort of off breaks and he just slips in the odd little sort of one that leaves the right hander as well isn't he and he's practicing the seam up balls so. yeah right standing in front of us at long on is Anton Devsic he's in front of us at long on a deep mid wicket is Fakhar Zaman great fielder who's down there Baz at uh, but deep back with square far away Wilco I know but I think it's Amir Yamin, but Long I'm not sure. I tell you, it might be him because Sohail Khan is not going out on the field. Who have we got here? Brendan McCullum is at deep long off. He's at long off. And McClanagan is it at deep cover? He's very athletic outfielder. Yeah. So Narayan, will he start with the one that turns away from Simmons? He does. Oh, no run! 
<laughs> dot ball. Dot ball. Got three men inside the circle on the offside. He's got a deep extra, and that's exactly why. I'd go that again. I'd go the, uh, the knuckle ball. The knuckle ball that goes away from the right hander. Oh, it's a it's full toss. Full he hasn't toss. put it away. Straight to Fakhar Zaman, and they're not going to go back for a second. Zaman's quick, and he's got a good arm. So two balls gone, and just one run. They need ten. They need ten. Another ten from four. Remember that they can get eleven, they can tie the super over, but because they've got more boundaries, Karachi than Lahore, then Karachi can win it with eleven. Now the bulldozer Ingram, we know, loves hitting to leg or straight back over the bowler's head. So the off spinner should come into play and he'll have a cover out on the boundary and a mid off on the boundary. And he's really turned the off spinner. So it'll be difficult for Ingram to hit it to leg. Can he go over cover? But I don't think Narayan will give him that full length. It'll be that short of a length. Well, if he goes back, he could punch it. They've got two cover fieldsmen in the circle, but the gap between long off and deep point is a big area. It's gone straight up in the air. He hasn't got enough on this. Two men underneath it. Oh, what a brilliant catch. Mitch McLenahan takes the most magnificent catch. What a catch that is. It hung in the air for so long. McLanagan settled underneath it and with a full stretch dive, he clings on to it. We just had a bit of Kiwi riding there too. That's all fine. Well bowled from Narayan, he's such an experienced bowler. It's the off spinner, turns a little bit. Ingram trying to get over mid wicket, he pulls oh. it to square leg and that is a spectacular catch. And the fans appreciate the efforts. Absolute stunner. Super over. And Narayan gets Ingram. Three to go out without scoring. I have never seen Narayan show emotion before. And guess who's come in, folks? It's boom, boom, boom time. Simmons. Boom, boom time. Boom, boom. And Shay. what's his record against um, Lahore? Six out, six out. It's gone leg side. There's no run here. That's well bowled. That was quicker. That's 116 kilometres an hour from the right. Was that the balls he was practicing in the warm up? Yes. I think it was. Yeah. Well, this is the end of Ingram. What a fabulous catch by Mitch McLenahan. <laughs> right. Well, they two, six. two balls to go. Two balls to go. Two fours won't get them there. Simmons. Good Straight thinking. to McCollum, and they have won it. The Calunders, unless no ball. unless Narayan bowls a no ball. A magnificent super over from Narayan, just two runs off. So cool, so calm under pressure. We're going to see an attempt at the biggest six ever hit in cricket history here from Boom Boom. He's gone oh, big. He's had a good crack at it at six. It will not be enough. So remarkably enough, Lahore have won this game. They've won the Super over. Amazing scenes. The boys are going well. They've won two in a row now. Have a look at this. Yeah, they win it in the Super over. Freedy ends it with a six, but look at the crowd. It's just absolute emotion out here. Fantastic bowling. In the end, a stunning catch as well in the super over. All happened, but Narayan take a bow. He was so cool under pressure. Brilliant. It's the first time in the PSL that Lahore have won back-to-back -back matches. Wow. They beat Multan and in a super over tonight. They have beaten the mighty Karachi Kings and Sunil Narayan take a bow. Now, I'm not a big stats man, but has Shahid Afridi in his three innings against Lahore this year hit the first ball for six in every innings? Oh, flat. I think he has. I think that could be a yes. <laughs> I, I think that could be a yes. <laughs>
unbelievable scenes here and remember I don't think this game's over surely there's some other <laughs> twist that we can stay another half an hour got to expect it Karachi versus Lahore this buzz it buzz it tell me you're from Lahore oh. how many people in Lahore are watching this everybody's watching this you're playing against Karachi you go in the super over you win it from there bragging rights you're out of the tournament but you still want to win against Karachi last ball smashed a fantastic shot over cover magnificent shot but the fact of the matter is that it wasn't enough well I mean it was a very good game before the super over wasn't it oh. just that last over the uh, the first game just took us to a new level and the super over was uh, was amazing and Brendan McCallum Mitch McClanning and what about his catch how important was that stunning catch all smiles now but what an eventful game we've had today